Mother Mercy, take me from this place. Tonight, two Burnsville police officers and a firefighter paramedic were shot and killed in the line of duty today. The city of Burnsville identified the fallen first responders as Paul Elmstrand, Matthew Ruge, and Adam Finseth. Investigators say around 2 a.m. Sunday morning, police responded to a domestic call at a home on 3rd Avenue South. That there is the smokestack. The man had barricaded himself inside the Bad, I don't know what that is. Including seven children between Jesus. the ages of 2 and 15. The man was reportedly heavily armed. After negotiating with him for several hours, investigators say the situation escalated into gunfire. That's when the officers were hit. The BCA confirms the suspect also died. Mourners gathered tonight at a vigil outside of Burnsville City Hall where a squad car and a fire department vehicle are both parked. Both have a growing memorial of flowers and balloons around them. Stay with 5 Eyewitness News as we cover this breaking story. We're going to bring you the latest on air and online at your 24 hour news feed at kstp.com. Let's bring Matt back in as we're talking about a warm up. Big time warm up. And, uh, and now it's gone. It's the uh, next weekend compared to this weekend. Actually, I mean, it's. We've gotten used to not having snow on the ground, right? right? Yeah. It's weird to have this snow on the ground. Exactly. And that's that's kind of been the thing no, it turned. so far. Take a look at how we've uh, kind of stacked up over the last few months compared it's to It's there. Heaven. So typically, those uh, lighter blue bars, that's what we should see in any given month in the Twin Cities. October that's is really above average, but November, sure basically nothing. Same with December and January. February, we're a little more than halfway through the month, and we're getting close. Hey, Kelsey on here. Friendly port. Yes, it all there she is. Next week in the 50s and maybe then some. That's wild, right? But you know what they say about March, though, too? The whole lion and lamb thing? Yeah. Well, it's to be determined at this point. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's lamb and everyone's lion is a little different. It's true. And it's um, not real science either, is it, Ian? Not really. It's kind of wives' tale stuff, mm-hmm. which is fine. I mean, that's the fun stuff when you get to that sort of... Hi, Ian. Lion and lamb. Yeah, it's just In the ground. Oh, that's not a scientist. Mm. No, Pete is not a scientist. He's not a little groundhog. And move on. <laughs> Pucks the tiny, Phil. <laughs> I thought we were moving on. <laughs> Deep area of low pressure bringing flooding rain to the state of California. And then you think about what happened in Florida today. My daughter's in Tampa and she said, Dad, there was so much rain you could not possibly go outside last night and all day today. Parts of Florida are over three and a half inches of rain. I'm gonna take you back to California though, because all of this here, the the green in the background, when I say all of this, 
Those are flood warnings that go all the way from Northern California to San Diego. Those are winter storm warnings in the Sierra Nevadas. It is going to be a have massive it. push of moisture again, the third time since January the 1st for the state of California. For us today, deep there it is. high pressure just sort of meandering its way across the It's ocean. meandering its way down. Back the onslaught of clouds as low pressure leaps yep. up and down the Rockies begins to spill clouds here across the northern plains. The clouds have arrived. In one shape or another, they'll play a part of our forecast overnight through the day tomorrow and into the day on Tuesday. Not a lot of weather in those clouds, although perhaps a sprinkle tomorrow morning and maybe a sprinkle on Tuesday morning, but barely a Jesus. chance, if at all. So when you think about the way today went, a gorgeous, sun-filled day, it is a very quiet evening. High temperatures, 37 in Hinkley in the cities, 38 in St. Cloud, and 32 in Hutchinson. And we're trying to cool right now.